let's talk about some common and uncommon computer hotkeys that you can use within a Microsoft Word document, a web browser such as Mozilla Firefox, and on your computer desktop. Computer hotkeys are combinations of keyboard keys that when pressed allow you to access and alter programs without having to use your computer mouse. Computer hotkeys are often more efficient and make working on your computer faster and easier. Let's open a Microsoft Word document now so we can test out some of our computer hotkeys. As you can see, I have one sentence of text. My pointer is on the right, so I want to select words using the right to left select hotkey. To do this, let's hold down the control and shift buttons on our keyboard and then use the left arrow key to highlight one word at a time. Keep on pressing the left arrow button to continue selecting words. To unselect words you have just selected, keep on holding the control and shift buttons and press the right arrow key. If you want to go from the opposite direction or from left to right, let's move our cursor over to the left and again hold down the control and shift buttons and select one word at a time to the right using the right arrow key. And to unselect one word at a time, use the left. So it depends on which side your cursor starts. Now let's look at the cut hotkey. Let's cut the words about computer hotkeys. Let me just highlight them using the left to right selector. And now let's press Control X or the cut hotkey. And that will get rid of it. Let's select everything by using the control A or select all hotkey. And let's try out our copy hotkey by pressing control C. Let's press enter. And to prove that I have copied this line of text, let's try out our paste hotkey or control V. And now I have the sentence on two different lines. Let's get out of our Microsoft Word document and open up a Mozilla Firefox web browser window. Mozilla Firefox makes it easy by supplying this plus sign to create a new tab, but one of the easiest and most used hotkeys in a web browser is to create a new tab. And to do this, you'll press the control button and the letter T to open up a new tab. Another useful hotkey is the refresh button hotkey. To refresh your web browser page, press the control button and R. And this will refresh your page. If you want to print from the web, bring up print options by selecting the control button and the letter P. You can also use the print hotkey in a Microsoft Word document or other Word or text editors. We'll just press cancel. One of my most used hotkeys is the open and close the most recent window hotkey. If you press the Windows button, which has the Microsoft Windows logo on it, and then press the letter D, then it will get out of your most recent window without exiting out it'll just navigate away from the screen. If you press the Windows key and letter D again, you'll be brought back to your most recent window from which you exited. So let's press it again, and it'll bring me right back to my Firefox web browser window. Now, or if you are at your desktop, an easy way to access your system's My Computer folder, where you can navigate to all of your system files and folders, is by pressing the Windows button and the letter E. And my computer will pop up, making it easy for you to access all of your files and folders. For advanced users who use the run command, you can access that by easily holding down the Windows button and the letter R. And the run command will pop up. 
The last computer hotkey that I'm going to talk about and go over is the lock computer hotkey. I recommend memorizing the lock computer hotkey because if you are in a setting where you want to make sure your system is secure without having to shut down the computer, all you have to do is hold down the Windows button and the letter L. This will lock your computer and all you have to do to get back to where you were is to type in your password that you initially used to log in. This will only password protect your computer and you will not lose any information that you are working on, which I think is great. I hope you can implement some of these hotkeys in your life and become more efficient. I'll see you next time.